Hey there guys, Rob with Boat to Trailer here. We're actually gonna do an installation video of a long handle rampant clamp. And as you can see, the rampant clamp is actually made up of stainless steel. And on the opposite side, you can see this is actually Stoltz polyurethane that helps protect the boat incredibly well. So the long handle, a lot of customers prefer a long handle for roller trailers because they wanna be able to release the boat from inside the boat. If you have the short handle model, you actually have to reach over to release it or release it from the landing. So a longer handle actually helps with roller trailers if they're trying to walk up and release it or if they want to tie a rope to it, stand inside the boat and pull the rope to release them. Since the long handle version is very common on a roller trailer, we have a roller trailer here. So all we're going to do is basically back the strap off, we're going to push the boat back about 8 to 10 inches and then we'll show you how to install it and replace this roller. It's very simple and easy to do on roller trailers because the boat can move. If you have a bunk trailer, it has to be done differently. You must remove the boat from the trailer. We highly recommend you just go out fishing for the day. When you come back, once this trailer is empty, just hop up to the roller, we're gonna pop it off and install the latch in place of it. The most important thing is that if you try to jack up the boat or something like that on a bunk trailer, it's not gonna line up properly and it's not gonna latch in the way you want it to. So we do recommend put the boat in the water, make it easy, then you can just have full access to this roller and you won't have complications. Another option for a bunk trailer installation, if you have a mask that you can actually slide forward and back and it's not welded, you can just loosen these bolts, slide the mask back, once slid back, then remove the roller just like the process install the latch, then we'll go ahead and slide the mask right back into the boat, get it to lock in, and then tighten this back down. If it's welded, it doesn't work, you will have to float the boat. So let's just quick go through the installation of a long handle ramp clamp. Now that we have the boat pushed back, we're just gonna go ahead and pop the roller off quick, and we'll show you how to install. It's a three quarter inch wrench, we're just gonna go ahead and back it off. So now that we have the roller removed, we're just gonna go ahead and install the ramping clamp. One thing to note is that inside the box, you're gonna get two different bolt sizes. One is gonna be basically for a four inch gap in here, and they also include washers for that as well to take up the space. The other one is gonna be a three inch bolt size, which is gonna be already on the latch itself, and that will be used if you have a three inch gap and don't need any washers. This one here is actually a three and a half inch, so we will actually just grab the four inch bolt and we'll go ahead and walk you through that right now. So now that we know our bolt size and we have the washer sizes we need, which are two quarter inch washers, we're gonna go ahead and install the latch on the trailer. Now when you go to install, you're gonna notice that there's two separate holes to install the latch on. We do recommend this top hole for most installations. That way it uses the lowest profile to prevent the bolt from moving too far back on the trailer. We want it to rest basically exactly where the roller was. So to do that, this has such a streamlined profile that this is the hole that we do suggest for installation. Now that we have the washers on and the bolt on, we actually do recommend getting our lock. Now we do typically say two locks is better than one. That way you can lock the head side and the nut side but it's very in easy to install these locks. We'll just show you here quick how to do that. The lock is actually a two piece part. We're just gonna pop this off and you want this angled out when installing. So we're just gonna slide the washer on first. We'll slide this right over the top and then we're gonna take the nut and go ahead and install that. Now that we have that piece on, we can go ahead and take our three quarter inch wrench and socket here and we're just gonna go ahead and tighten it up. So now that we have the insert piece for the lock and the nut on, we wanna make sure that we tighten this to where it's just snug. You do want it to be able to pivot a little bit. You don't want it super tight and you don't want it super loose. The reason you want it to pivot is at different landings, if you're at different pitches, that way the actual latch itself can pivot so it can snap in and lock. So you just want this snug, typically 20 to 24 foot pounds. Now that the inner piece of the lock is installed, we're just gonna go ahead and put the cover on. And all this does is slip right over the top, 
and it actually snaps in as well. Now the latch is completely secured, you have a lock on it, and we'll go ahead and install the handle side. So we're gonna show you how to install the handle. It's actually a two-piece part, and we'll just go ahead and show you exactly how to put it on. There's actually three holes to choose from, the bottom hole, the center hole, and the top hole. Either hole works just fine, but it actually just depends on the angle you want this handle to be at. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the center hole. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the extension on. Now this has got another piece here, but basically it's the same thing. You can choose the bottom hole, the center hole, or the top hole, depending on the angle of which you want it. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the top hole this time, just so that we can still reach it from inside the boat. And now the handle is installed. The nice thing about the long handle is that you can actually release it from inside the boat. And it does have an auto reset. So it automatically resets once you launch your boat, it resets to where it's ready to grab your boat again. One thing to note with the long handle is that you do have to float the boat in order to release this and release the boat into the water. So you aren't gonna be able to release it at drive level land or anything like that. You will have to float the boat. If you're looking to release it from land or after you hook, unhook your strap and chain and so forth, we recommend going with the short handle model instead of the long handle. So you'll notice the nice thing about this with the long handle is that you can actually add this little clip. There's a hole in this rubber here that you just have to drill out the hole in the rubber there's a pre-drilled hole in the aluminum already, so this is ready to go to just put a clip in if you prefer. That way you can just put this clip in, add a rope, and you can stand from inside the boat to release it. So all we're gonna do is just take this clip, put the skinny side in, take the loop, feed it right into the clip, and that way now you, can, you have the added rope to it.